Hello there, hope you have been having a very lovely day. In this session, I would like to tell you how to plot a body plot from a transfer function in CLAT software. So, before I actually begin, let me thank you because I recently reached 10,000 overall views and 25 subscribers in my channel. So, thank you for your support, and I hope I can upload a lot more interesting and uh, informative videos for educational purposes and coming to today's session we're gonna plot a body plot from a given transfer function we are going to take input from the user we are gonna take the input of the numerator as well as the denominator from the user and we're gonna plot a body plot for that particular transfer function So once your MATLAB is open, you need to create an M file by clicking New here on the top left, which opens your MATLAB editor, and then you should type a program for plotting the body plot. But in my case, I have already uh, used, I have already made an M file, and this is it. So in the first step, you're using num is equal to input of n to the numerator. In this step, you're gonna you're taking input from the user. You're gonna take the numerator from the user, and in the next step, you're gonna take the denominator from the user. H is equal to tf of num comma den is actually a function which converts the numerator and the denominator into a transfer function. So if you're gonna give the numerator is s and your denominator s square and your denominator is s square plus three the transfer function which is h is gonna be h is equal to s by s square plus 3 so in the next step you're gonna find the margin of h and finally the body of h so let me click f5 my other alternative is to directly type the name of this program in the command window of MATLAB but I'm gonna go with f5 so here I'm being asked to enter the numerator so let me enter 1 space 2 which means my numerator is s plus 2 if I want to enter a numerator with like s square plus 2s plus 3 I have to enter 1 space 2 space 3 enclosed in square braces now you might ask what if the denominator is s cube plus 4s plus 5 listen this listen to this you don't have the s square term so how are you gonna manage that if you don't mention the s square term MATLAB is gonna understand that your function is actually a second order is actually a um, second order function so that is not what you want you want uh, s cube plus 0 s square plus 3 s plus 5 if you have a void in between, you have to enter a zero. So this is my denominator. And now I'm gonna get h, which is my transfer function. And if you can notice in the uh, bottom left, it says busy. So these warnings you can actually ignore. You will get the body plot anyway. So this is the final body plot. The top part is the magnitude part, and the bottom part is the phase angle part. So, this program can also be done using the Scilab software, which is an open source. And I recommend you use Scilab because Scilab is actually, um, it even has the simulating thing, and it's better if you go open source rather than spend uh, lots of dollars on a paid version. So, anyways, this is the body plot of our transfer function. So, I can close this and I can try again I this time let me try let me type the name of the program BODE underscore PLOT so enter the numerator I enter 4 space 5 denominator I enter 4 space 3 space 89 and finally I'm gonna get the body plot so this is the final body plot of the second transfer function we have done so the MATLAB program which you have to type is already uh, mentioned in the description section of this video so hope you find it informative and if you're having an exam tomorrow all the very best and have a very nice day bye